It's the Garage Shed Podcast. <laughs> and I am Gavin Ford. Bit right. I'm Aki. It's a good day. Good news. Why is it a good day, Gav? Because we're potential. There's a roadmap. The first roadmap I've ever paid attention to. <laughs> you're gonna be asleep in the back of the car, aren't you? Exactly that. Yeah. <laughs> we use we usually use Mappy. Yeah. But yeah, twenty first of June, clubs can open again. This year might not be a complete write off. Touch yeah. wood. No. Yeah, admittedly, I did think it was going to be a bit later. So. Yeah. I did, yeah. Yeah, assuming everything stays in place. Yeah, everyone must be on their best behaviour. Yeah. Until the 21st of June. We'll be talking about what garage, what garage event would be the ultimate garage event to come back to. Oh, what, your fantasy garage event? Yeah, like like Fantasy Football League, but fantasy garage event. (laughs) Who who are you having on it? Who's on your line-up? All right, how long is the event for? Six hours? Uh, Yeah, I guess, yeah. That's, normal, that's normal club night kind of normal yeah. club night vibes so i guess you need uh, to think about it quite conservatively as well like well yeah do you, like if we're talking if it's if it's like a normal club night do you have do you go all out from the off expecting everyone's gonna no, be no. oh yeah but they i suppose but people are going to be desperate to come out you'd imagine so, so you we're just going to say that 10 o'clock it. it's going to be busy from early let's say it'll be ram early yeah so it doesn't matter what order yeah, I'm gonna worry about the warm up DJs. No, nothing like that. Just go all killer, no filler. Yeah, we don't have to put them in order or anything. We don't have to do a set list. <laughs> no, we don't have to do a running order. We'll get political with who's headlining. Yeah, yeah, we don't need any of that caper. Just need, just need two people, two artists each. <sighs> wow. You can all chuck in. You can all, you can all, chuck a name in the hat. All right. I mean, serve. okay, there's the obvious one. I'll take the early one from the team and say he's dead, obviously. Oh, so sorry. Yeah, yeah. But he's got to be like, I don't know if it's not a fantasy lineup if you don't have him in there. True. Yeah. Um, the question is, though, do you have an MC? Well, you can only have one. An MC is surely two, two people you're saying you can't have. But I'm saying you've got the ability to have MCs on every set. Yeah, but you, if you say now two MC, then you're doing your whole, your whole two in one go. Oh, okay, I see. Okay, yeah, you're right. about two in general. Yeah, you can't. Six hours we're, we're covering. All right, so you... It's you two, four, <laughs> two, four, six, is what I'm saying. All right, so just do okay. DJs, and then just you're going to have one MC each. Okay, afterwards. cool. All right, so DJs then. DJ, of course, is like first name on the team sheet. He's fantasy, fantasy DJ number one. All right, well, yeah. that's, that's an obvious one. Yeah, sorry. That's all right. But I've got to it's get right. It's your, you know, it's fantasy, fantasy garage rave, hack. Yeah, it's a tough one. Um, I think I like to see Matt Jamlamon. Right? Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. Like, like we heard that. Yeah, he's probably my pick. Obviously, EZ's probably number one pick for most people. But I think the good thing with Matt Jam is that you're getting like musically, you're getting a mix of old and new. Well, exactly my exactly my point. You're going to get the best of new and old because he kind of mixes with both. Yeah, so, that's a good shout in that sense. Yeah, oh, <laughs> it's hard to screw three people. Oh, all right. Oh, uh, okay. No, we'll we'll, 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 we'll count it as one act. Yeah, we'll count it as one act. Yeah, yeah. I'm one hard to screw. Yeah, that's, yeah. Fair. yeah, that's fair. a great shout. Yeah, energy to the party. It's just always one. We just never done heartless screw into about ten. We have never done it, so yeah. I've always, always want to. That's always what I want to want to do it before. I've never too seen, old to go out. I don't. I haven't seen heartless screw into Southampton. Well, I haven't ever seen heartless screw into Southampton. They did. They did like I've, a few I've, gigs, real like years and yeah, years I've ago. Yeah, I've seen like them a couple of times. Two thousand three. Like, oh yeah, before I didn't yeah, see it. Yes, Rhino days and um, venue. Ven- yeah. The venue. Yeah. Oh, okay, but they yeah, were like fa- right. famous gigs. Yeah. In Southampton. Yeah. Garage yeah. history. But they haven't been back since. Oh, they did. Did they do chunk? Like what? No, it wasn't all of them, was it? Uh, no, they've been they've been here individually, I think. Yeah, they been... So yeah, that'd be a great shot to see them. Hundred percent. Yeah, that's they. I've always wanted to. I've pushed for it a few times, but never yeah. the whole. 
the whole thing. So that they're always going to be on my if the parties in Southampton, which this fantasy live one is, then yes. that'll be it. Yeah, they would be. If, if you don't have a, to travel for your own fantasy party. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can I go to they would party? actually be the first. Like, they would be above EZ on my Southampton one Whew. because they just haven't done Southampton in right. so long, and all of our all of our friends. Obviously, we're all massive Heartless Crew fans, so I think, yeah, yeah, they'd always be. He, he said it's amazing, obviously, but we haven't had Heartless Crew nah, for so long time. They're people's favourites as well, yeah. They're a break, didn't they? I guess so. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. Lino, really taking shape, though, lads. Yeah, well, it's three big hitters already. Um, yes. Yeah, trying to think of because there's, there's so many choices. Like what we've been saying about on this podcast for the last couple of months now is it all the new stuff coming through yeah. so much choice of of music producers that you'd want to book um arguably it's harder to pick a dj out of that because out of the new producers that are coming through we haven't seen many dj sets we've seen streams oh, yeah, yeah. but true. we haven't been in clubs yeah. to experience the live set what the live vibe is like with those producers yeah so you kind of go okay well do i pick a new producer not really knowing what they're like as a DJ as such, or do I go with a new producer because I know they're going to have various un yeah. like unplayed bangers. You know what I mean? Go like they've got like a big rough. Um, so with that in mind, to mix the two, I'd go with someone like Conductor because I think the wealth of tunes he would have would yeah. be oh, silly. Yeah, yeah. I've seen him DJ before. I'm into him, yeah. um, but I think just the amount of I've never seen him DJ. Yeah, he's good. And he did um, Eskimo Dance. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. good. Um, but I just think as well, just the amount of dubs that he'd probably have and I'm really I'm sure. really It'd be more, one of the ones where I'd be there, like, yeah. not shazamming because it wouldn't be out yet, but I'd be like, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, good one. Like that's good one, yeah. This, this fella, it's really taking shape. On. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go for one of the newer ones who I've seen DJ a couple of times, played at our garden party. And also, I know he's got some really good unreleased stuff coming, and it is Soul Lecter. Uh, he's DJ for us a couple of times, and actually have been very impressed with his DJing as well. And also, we know he has good records in his catalogue as well. So, I'm going to go for Soul Lecter. Yeah, I'd like to hear some of those records he's brought out, out live. Yeah. He's also got the ability to dip into some old school stuff in his sets. And yeah, no, I mean, before. like I say, I've heard it's, it, been there with his sets and was actually really impressed with his selection of music into a set so yeah he's definitely going to go in there for me can we put ourselves on it i want to play it my own first <laughs> <laughs> we're, playing, we're playing room two <laughs> is it is it is it a garage shared rave is that what we're calling it or because uh, uh, I, I feel like a set between the three of us back to back kind of works yeah you could all get in there like if you're doing that, we'll, we'll, yeah. take, we'll take one for the team and take yeah. the graveyard shift or yeah. we'll, take, we'll, we'll warm it up when everyone well I'll just finish it off when everyone's battered yeah, I think everyone will be battered after the second hour, but I don't think there's a bad set to play on the lineup like that. Probably not. Probably no. not. You'd probably get away with playing anything as well when everyone's battered. So, <laughs> M M MCs, you can put one, what, one MC each, we said. One MC per set. And obviously. If you want to. A per set. And let's just pick two each as. If you want to, it's not, it's not mandatory. I think if it, if it fits the DJ, or if they've got a rapport with the DJ, I don't think you have to have an MC on a set. Okay, all right. Well, you can have like an overall host you, that can dip in and dip in every, like throughout a set. Are you put in some of these in, even though you won't want them? <laughs> it's kind of just one of the mixes, but at the same time, I remember back in the day listening to you know tape packs with like B Live and Vibe over mm. over EZ. It was like that was a dream team, right? Or even someone like Kofi. Oh yeah, you know, yeah Kofi B. Kofi yeah. B over EZ. It was always a, like a solid pairing because Kofi knew what yeah. EZ was like as a DJ. Never disrespected that. Never yeah, like yeah, yapped over it. And like CKP was great. Yeah. With EZ. There's like so many legendary CKP and EZ sets. Yeah, you've got to put some CKP and match having them on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's fair. Yeah. So I guess with EZ, do you want an MC? I guess it's going to take it to a next level with him. Like somebody for a safety option, Kofi. Well, yeah, CKP with Matt Jam. Obviously, they gel well together. Um, so yeah, CKP is obviously going to be my choice, and he does know how to get a party started. CKP definitely done a gig out in Holland with him and smashed it. <laughs> so yeah, CKP for me. Yeah, CKP, my favourite one. That's that's yeah. 
It's like salt and vinegar. Salt and vinegar. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, my axe have got all got MCs. Yeah, Heartless. Heartless, and then yeah, we'd have Tyrone and yeah, probably Alistair. I mean, so we, Al I mean Alistair's definitely got to be in there, surely. I don't think we'd be able to get rid of him <laughs> at this at the fantasy um, rave in, in yeah. Southampton. Yeah, I just thinking about going back on trophy. B Live could swoop in there. I think B Live should be on there. Thing. 100%. Well, who's with Conductor? I've never known. I don't I See, so you could put Kofi with Conductor because I don't think Conductor necessarily needs one. I think because of the need to be, or you need someone that knows the tunes. He's going to play like a lot of newer records. Yeah. I mean, there's not really a new breed of MCs coming through, is there? Like on the um, kind of host event side of things. Yeah, as opposed to art, artists yeah, and yeah. stuff. There's, um, there's generally like newer artists that attach to stuff. Mm. Um, but so yeah, it's like tricky. You said, yeah, you could put an old school guy with that, like so, like a host thing. So maybe Kofi goes. Yeah, with yeah. And you put a B live with EZ, you'd right. change it. Okay, cool. All right. What about some like PSG as well. I mean, like I'm really, I don't want to get into untold. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, cool. yeah, I don't always want PSG on the lineup. But... Do we throw in a cheeky PA? <laughs> no, nah, I don't need the PA. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. technically, they do with the garage PAs. Like in most garage events, most of the PAs are the same old songs that get rolled out. That's the problem with it. It's always like, yeah. So, yeah, you could leave it off. I I would leave it just straight off, full on rave all the way through, no stopping. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No intermission. No intermission. It's good though. It's good. It's, like, it's a solid. It's a solid. Uh... Yeah, we're not doing all that because that would just be a nightmare trying to work out. Well. <laughs> we won't do that. Just tell them. Tell them all to turn up. Whoever turns up first gets a set. <laughs> <laughs> So, so yeah, that seems like a very good lineup to me. Yeah, I'm excited. Cool. What? How much tickets are we going to get? <sighs> They'd have to be fucking expensive, would they? <laughs> yeah, I mean some of the prices there. It's festival business. You're talking there. Yeah, <laughs> twenty five quid minimum, I'd reckon. What I would want to know is um, what other people's suggestions are in the comments of who they would want to see at their perfect garage rate. Back. Yeah, and also people try to do the running order. Yeah, try and put. You saw that out. There. We've done enough. We've, <laughs> yeah, come on. We bought that line up. Yeah. I mean, someone else can contact all the acts as well. Make that happen. <laughs> yeah, you do everything else. We've done the hard work. <laughs> yeah, let us know. So yeah. But yeah, yeah. Let us know in the comments. All right. See, see you soon. Yeah.